All right, so now we're going to move on to some new things in geometry. Um, we're going to be talking about angles, lines, and transversals, or at least that's what the uh, chapter in the book is called, or the section in the book is called. We're going to start off again with some vocabulary because geometry is all about the vocab. All right, so a line that intersects two points or two or more lines at different points, this is what we call a transversal. Um, I guess there's only one of them. All right, and then angles that lie on the same side of a transversal but in corresponding positions, we call these corresponding angles. Oops. And angles that lie within a pair of lines and on opposite sides of the transversal, we call alternate interior angles. So, um, just so you kind of have an, an idea, here's two lines. It can be any two lines, right? They don't have to be special lines. But if we have a line that crosses those two lines, uh, then this one, that would be our transversal. Um, and then we're going to talk about the other two corresponding alternate interiors in the next couple theorems. All right, so here's an example of a transversal. And I put this one on here because I wanted to talk about placement, right? So this is my transversal. Transversal. Um, this would be interior. That's inside our lines. So that's our interior. I'm going to not make that come from. So that is the interior. And then all of this out here. And if it didn't take so long to change colors, I would change colors. But all of this out here, this is exterior. Oops. Exterior. So these four would be interior angles, whereas these four out here are exterior angles. And I know I just scribbled all over it, and you're probably going, oh, Mrs. Cartwright, like I said, I, it was quick and easy to change the color I would have so that you could color code it. Um, if you want to color code it, by all means, color, you know, color it whatever colors you want. All right, so we're going to name pairs of corresponding angles. When we're looking for corresponding angles, we're, you know, so here's my transversal. Like angle one is on top of the transversal and it is to the left of its line. So like when I'm talking about corresponding, I know that angle one is going to pair with angle three because angle three is also on top of the transversal, the same side of the transversal and it is to the left of its line. So we should always, both of these are going to be pulling an angle from each line. Corresponding is just going to be in the same position. So like, it's kind of like when we're in our, when we were in our groups of four and saying that the top or the front right desk and so the front right desk in every group of four, that would be a corresponding position. Here's our group of four, and we're trying to find the same position. So angle one would pair with angle three. Angle two is in the same position as angle four. Angle five is, would pair up with angle seven and angle six pairs with angle eight. And again, it's just finding where, like here with six and eight, they're in that same, they're both below the transversal and to the right of their line, all right? 
So that's how we think about corresponding. Now, alternate interior. Interior meaning these inside. So we're only worried about these four angles right here. Alternate meaning alternating, right? Alternating is every other um, opposite sides. And like I said before, we want an angle from each line. So my angle 2 is going to pair with angle 7 because they are on different sides of the transversal. One's on top of the transversal, one's below the transversal, and then they are on the separate lines. So on the, 2 is on line M and 7 is on line N. And then that just leaves angle 3 to pair with angle 6, which again, they are on opposite sides of the transversal and on their own separate lines. So alternate interior meaning opposite and then inside, so opposite inside. All right, um, in the next video, we're going to talk about um, the theorems. So we're going to start with corresponding and alternate interior angle theorems. So I will see you there.